Okay, welcome to Art Anthology. Um, you stream live, and I'm going to recreate this canvas. Hopefully, it'll turn out um, the way this one looks. So, I got busy just a little bit ago, and oh my gosh, I looked at the time, and it was 2:01, and I'm missing my. I'm already missing one of my. Um, my stencils. Let me see here. Okay, got it. What? I I looked. Let me check that out real quick because I when I log on I can see that there's a ticket. Let me check here real quick. I don't know, um, and I don't know if it's different because, uh, let me see here. See, when I, when I look at it, I can see tickets available and then I see where you can click on find tickets. I don't know what, to, I don't, I have no idea. <laughs> anyway, I better get started here. Um, at least you made it right. We'll see if anybody else can make it. I don't, I don't see what the problem is with the link there. So let me put this up so I can look at it. Okay, so I'm going to gesso, give it a light gesso um, application. I was busy cleaning my desk today, and, and now you know how that goes. You can't find it, anything. I'm glad you can make it. So I just put a uh, light coat of gesso. I use the acrylic gesso. Give it a quick dry here. Okay, so the next step is to use the stencil, and this one is called Dotted Matrix. A dot matrix, excuse me. I love this stencil, it's one of my favorites. And instead of using um, a texture paste, I, I found that I really love using the Sorbet Dimensional Paint the white one and this one is called linen. I love that the glitter uh, shows through after spraying and I'm actually running low. <laughs> but so anyway I just um, I just run it through here and you don't ha I don't have to get all of them covered. Because you know a lot of times it gets covered anyway. I just love the texture of this. I 
I can't tell if the light, my lighting is making the light worse. I don't know, can you tell me? Let me shut it off. It doesn't seem to change it. Okay, so I'm going to give that a quick dry. I'm going to put this in my little tub of water and use my heating tool. I don't think you can pick up the glitter, the shine you get from it, but in person you can see it, and especially after you spray it with the sprays. Okay, I always forget, you know, because I did this what a week and a half, two weeks ago. Um, I forgot which steps I do, so I'll do the best I can for um, getting it close to what the original looks like. So I'm going to use the colorations timeless. And when I use when I put these away, I forget to wipe them off. So um, they kind of spray like half in a half circle. So just wipe them off, and usually that does the trick. And I just randomly spray. And then if you get too much in one place, you can just blot it and it takes away a lot of it. Okay, I'll give that a quick dry. Next I'm going to use the Colorations Rustic and I love this color too. Let me wipe it off. You might want to, you know, when you're spraying with any kind of sprays, you should uh, give it a test on a little piece of paper and that way you know whether it's going to spray, you know, the way it's supposed to or you can clean it up or whatever. So just like the other colors, just kind of randomly spray it. And always have lots of paper towel or I ran out of wet wipes so you know even having paper towels and then you can use your spray bottle and mist it. Give this a quick dry.
me check my screen here. Do you have any questions so far? I know I haven't really done a whole lot. Um, Patty, it's on a um, flat canvas. I'm sorry I didn't say that in the beginning. Okay. So what I'm going to do, I think I did this after I put all the embellishment, most of them on, but I'm going to do this because I know what I'm doing right now, what, I'm, what I need to add. And when you work with sprays and stuff, I found that stays on is really, really good for, um, you know, not smearing your ink. So you guys have been with me before and this part always scares me because sometimes you just don't know how it's going to turn out. And with the stays on, it stays on. <laughs> so I'll just kind of, and you know, I already forgot one of the, I can do that afterwards. I forgot this stencil, but that shouldn't affect what I'm doing right now. Hard to remember the steps. <laughs> okay, so that's it with the stamping. So I'll get back, get it out the other um, stencil. And this one's called Such a Drip. And with this one, I just kind of randomly put it in a couple places. And this one, my voice is kind of cracky. <laughs> this is a sh the sorbet, uh, and this one's called Pixie. And it's a really, like a sky blue. So what I do is I try to go down the stencil because otherwise if you go back up sometimes it will get underneath your stencil and it'll be all kind of messed up. Okay so there's one and then the other one is about probably right about here. So you can never mess up right? <laughs> Patty, did you have a hard time finding the link? When I see, you know, when I see the event, I can see the find tickets. So I don't know what the issue is there. Okay, so I'm gonna give that a quick dry. Like I've told you before, I love when I dry, um, use the heating tool on the paints. It bubbles up and I love extra texture. So that's what I get. I don't, hopefully you can see 
kind of bubbles up and just gives it a little more detail. Oh no, <laughs> not the commercials. Okay, so now it's time to embellish. And I think I will start with the fabric. It's not really a tape, but it's a piece of fabric uh, trim. And I don't even know why I put this on, but um, just kind of thought I'd try to use some of my um, embellishments and s supplies. One other, let me glue this down and then I, I think I'll um, paint the corrugated paper so that way it gives it time to dry. I hope nobody's el nobody else is having a hard time finding the link. I don't I had help setting it up this time, so and like I said, I can see the fine tickets, so I don't know why it's not showing. I know when I've gone to other classes, I've that's what I've been able to do is just go to find tickets and click on it. I apologize. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> it's all still new to me, so I'm sorry about that. I just want to make sure I'm in the screenshot here. Oh yes, it's art anthology. The stencils. It's this one's called um, the one was called the one that I just used with the blue is called um, such a drip, and the other one was called dot matrix. I love them. Okay, so let me put this out of the way and let's do the corrugated so that way it has time to dry. I don't think I need that big piece. And I am all about texture. I just, as much as, uh, as much texture as I can put on a, a project, I just love. I just kind of go crazy. Probably drives people crazy, but I love it. And so, this is what I used. I used the Sorbet, and this one's called Canyon Copper, which is one of my favorites of theirs. I love the color. But my fingers always get really, really dirty. And what I did was just went on the very edges. And I like gobs of it just because I love the color and I love the texture. Okay, so that's all I did. Let me put it on a piece of my awesome paper plates. And then I did it on this. I'll set that aside to dry. Let me wipe this off. sure I'm in the screen. I can't see once I scroll down on the comments it moves the screenshot.
<laughs> That's funny, Patty. My voice is like cracky today. I don't know what it, maybe I haven't had enough water. <laughs> okay, so let me see what I need to, I need to get this a couple. So what I do is I cut up a box, recycle it, and I use this for dimension. And I don't have the same papers excuse, for um, these matting, but it'll be, you know, it will match the colors on the canvas. Okay, so I'm just going to use my scissors because I have a new paper cutter and it's kind of driving me crazy. I guess it's opposite of what I'm norm I'm used to, so it kind of is annoying. Um, my little distressor. I found my distressor. I lost it for like a week and a half. I could not find it, so the other day I cleaned off my desk and it was buried. And I love distressing. I try to do it on all of my projects. So I'll get all these pieces of paper ready and that way we can start, I can start assembling. I don't cut, cut in the most straight lines either. It's very crooked. be a little bigger. I love these colors on here. And this was from Prima, but I don't remember the name of the collection. I'm so bad with names. I just, when I see something I like, I just get it and I don't even think about the name. Okay, let me see here. I'm just trying to look at the... the papers here that I have. Thanks, Sabrina, for helping with the link. I appreciate that. I wonder if I hit record. Okay. <laughs> I get so busy in ADD and I forget to hit, you know, I forget if I hit record or not. So at least this will be recorded and put, um, we'll transfer it to the YouTube channel. 
for the people that didn't make it today and wanted to. Okay, so I think I'm gonna start adding the backing. Now I don't know what's wrong with this tube of glue, but it doesn't peel off like the rest. I think they added too much of the acetone to it because I know when I in the past when I've done that, the glue doesn't really peel off your fingers like it normally does. So I think it's so annoying. It's all, all stuck on my fingers. I think I grabbed the wrong. Oh, my fingers are so bad. This might not be the right setup, but okay, so let me start building on this one. This fabric tack is so awesome, but and at the same time it's so annoying. <laughs> but it's one of my favorite glues. I I haven't found anything else that I really like to use. Okay. Before I forget, here's some of this, whatever this is. I don't even, I really don't know the name of it. There was no name on it. <laughs> but it's like a grass type thing. I just love it for texture. And I just add a bunch of glue when I'm putting these kind of things down. And if it's too much, I would just clip it off. Okay, I was just check checking, making sure everything's okay in the screenshot and... Okay, um, why don't I do the flowers? stamping right here. Whoops. I'm 
when the Fabri-Tac is not right, it dries super fast. So I think they had too much acetone in this one. Maybe it was the bottom of the pile or the bucket. <laughs> Okay, let me make a couple little tags. When I do a lot of my projects, I just go to my scrap bin because I have a ton. I don't know about you guys, but I don't know how to, I guess, be efficient with it. So I get a whole pile of scraps, especially when I do albums. Okay, let me get my twine, or I always forget the name of this too, but just for the little tags. Oh. So this one will go here. Dear, somebody's texting me. <laughs> okay, let me. And this one goes on the bottom here, which it doesn't seem like there's much room. Let me put it underneath. Hopefully you guys can't hear my stomach growling. <laughs> I'm, I kind of lo lost track of time and I got so busy doing some things here that sometimes I forget to eat. I know it sounds bad, but that it, it is true. <laughs> okay, so next I'll continue to do the flowers. When I get these projects ready, I have to put everything in a box just so it doesn't get lost or I, you know, I know where everything is. Like today I already forgot a, a piece. It's the um, die cut of a clock that's supposed to go over here, but you know, it'll look fine without it because I don't, I don't even have my cuddle bugs set up on the table, so. But I try to prepare and you know how things go. <laughs> okay. Let me add one more flower. This glue is so annoying today. <laughs> and it's like three quarters away full. Let's 
Does anybody have any questions? Let me check the chat here. Hi, Jen. I'm glad you can make it. Okay. Have these cute cute little roses I don't remember where I got them but with the timeless colorations I thought it was perfect just for a little tiny little rose here I probably should see if I need to answer that text We got the flowers down and then I have some bottle caps that I put on the side here. My glue is like just being ridiculous today. And I'm just looking at the canvas making sure I don't miss anything here. So this is Melissa Francis uh, zipper trim and I love it. I just love the texture. I wonder if they, let me see if the, oh they are, they are dry. Yay, most, most of it. And then I used burlap behind that. I don't know about you guys, but when I do projects, I don't really have a plan. I just, sometimes I'll grab one color of a spray or um, even paper and I'll just start picking things that will match it and then I that's basically how I get started I don't never know what I'm gonna do <laughs> and then sometimes I have to say I do have colors in mind in my head and then it doesn't always turn out that way though see all that I just love that it's so pretty of texture and then I probably can lay this down too I press down on the flowers make sure that they're adhering okay let me see I'll get my beads out and I see I don't have my thread. Okay, so I, another thing I love to put on my projects is thread. And it's caught on the flower here. Oops. My glue is so bad today. 
mean, it's so bad. <laughs> and let me stamp, let me cut a piece of paper here for the, um, on the original canvas it says delight, but this time I'm gonna have timeless on there. Okay, we're getting there. Let me make sure this flower doesn't want to stay here. So on the edging, I'm going to do it before I forget. On the edging, I use the um, metal effects, and it's called gold. It's one of my other favorites. So what I did is just ran it on the edges. And I love to use my fingers. <laughs> I mean, you can even put it on the flowers. Okay. Let me get the beads out and then we'll get the glitter and micro beads. So I don't remember why I had this one out. I don't even see it on the canvas. Okay. So I was just trying to use up some of these beads here. spatula is so dirty. So I'm using the 3D gel. For beads it's great. I did the art stones next. So 
I just kind of do it randomly around the embellishments. Okay, next I think I'm just going to, I don't even know, I think that it's this glass glitter. And sometimes I'll just kind of layer it on and push it through so it sticks. Missing my wet wipes today. And then I have some microbeads, and this is like a red, reddish orange color. And it doesn't look like there's a whole lot of glue seeping through, so I'm going to put a little bit more here. be tricky with these beads with the glue you just kind of have to play with them I've seen people use paintbrushes but I've tried it and that's even more annoying to me it just wants to stick to <laughs> your applicator See if I can catch some of these beads. It's not a whole lot this time, but what I like to do is catch as many as I can, and, and then I have a container that's a mix of all kinds of colors. I don't like wasting, but then, you know, sometimes it can't be helped. So here's my mix of beads. Okay, so let me check this out here because I feel like I'm forgetting something besides that clock. Um, I did. Oh. oh, yes, the rhinestones. Okay, so let me clean this off. My fingers are so sticky. Most of it's because of the Fabri-Tac glue this today. Just it's being ugly. <laughs> Let 
me see here. I think that is it. Let me double check, except for the frame. There's a frame that I did for the picture. And that was just using the Kenyan copper and the gold. Let me see if I can find a quick frame that will, that I can show you how to, we have a couple minutes before, well, we, it says 3.15. I wasn't sure how long it was going, going to land, uh, how, how long it was going to last. So let me see if I can find a frame. So this one will be good. So I'll show you what I did. So actually first I used a distress. Okay, this one's antique linen. I'll give that a quick dry. So I'm actually gonna use a, even though I have a mat here, I'm gonna use a paper plate. What I like to do is like up and you know dabbing it. That way it gives it some texture. This paint is so awesome. I just love it. So this is probably going to take a while to dry. Um, I'll give it a quick dry on my with my tool, but it's pretty thick. Let me lighten it up. Just for the sake of time, I'll do a light coat here. But you can go back and do layers too. You can dry and then if you don't like it, you can apply more of the paint. Give it a quick dry. because that's hot, I'll let it cool for a second. We need a cooling tool. <laughs> let me wipe that paint up. Okay, so here's the metal effects again with the gold. And I just like to give it a quick dab around. And if it's too much gold, you know, you can go back and use um, the color you you put on first. This one has more gold than orange, but it dries and it's so awesome. So let me clear off the base here. 
always like to show you guys what the original one looked like and what the one I just finished recreated. I don't know what I did with that poem. It's pretty close. I don't know how I managed that, but it somehow turns out. <laughs> Can you guys see that okay? Yes, it's the um, the Sh Sorbet Kenyan Copper. It's awesome. It's a, this chipboard, yeah, it is a chipboard frame. It's from Melissa Francis. Okay, well, thank you guys for showing up. And uh, it's always fun to create live. It's kind of nerve wracking, but I don't get as nervous as I used to. Um, but anyway, I hope you enjoyed the show and I hope that you get out there and get, oh, you know what? I just realized I didn't put the blue glitter on. And that's okay. It still looks great. Um, but I'm glad that you came and I'm not sure when my next class will be, but when I do have a class ready, I'll have the link posted and hopefully we can get the link part uh, cleared up. I'm not sure why there's problems with that. So um, anyway, do you guys have any questions? Yeah, I don't know why it shows censored, because I can see that too. 